Hello everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia, and if you want to know how I got this bomb ass red color, then continue watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you at it. Okay, so hopping right in, I'm just sectioning her hair and detangling the ends. She does have dark brown hair naturally, and she has brown at the bottom and blonde. So she has three colors in her hair, so what I'm going to do is just mix some bleach with a 20 volume developer, and I'm just adding a tiny bit of Olaplex, just so her hair stays nice and hydrated and there's no damage to her hair. Bleach can be very damaging, especially when you have other colors underneath, so I just want to make sure that her hair stays in one piece and it's not going to be falling out after this process. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this one section. This process took me about an hour and 20 minutes to do a double process. So I'm just going in. Each section in real life took me about five minutes to do. I'm just outlining it first, and then I'm going in, taking small sections. I'm making sure to apply more bleach at the top, flipping it over, and then I'm going to apply more bleach on the bottom of the hair shaft. And I'm making sure to do this all the way to the ends, and I'm stopping where that dark brown color meets the blonde. And just to help her hair process a little bit faster, I'm just running my fingers up and down just to make sure that it's adding a tiny bit of heat so that way the dark brown color starts changing a little bit faster. Because when you do use a 20 volume and add Olaplex, it technically turns into a 10 volume, which means that it's going to take a longer time for her hair to lift. And I want to make sure that her hair lifts in a decent amount of time so she's not here with me all night. And I'm just repeating the same thing over and over, just reapplying to the perimeter of the hair, going back in, flipping it under, adding a little bit more bleach on top, on the bottom, going all the way, not going over the blonde because I don't want to damage her hair, being very careful with that. And I'm going to do this for this whole entire section. Okay, so now all four sections are done and now I'm just going back into the roots and applying that bleach all over where her roots are because I did not touch the roots at all. It naturally bleach expands, so even though I started in about an inch away from her root, it started turning blonde already and it started expanding, which is fine. So you just have to trust the process. I know it looks really crazy and splotchy, but I promise you I am a colorist. I am bomb at doing color. I love doing color. And it's just a process. You have to trust the process and know that the end result is going to be bomb. You just have to have faith. So it's looking a little crazy right now, but I promise you her hair is not going to be damaged and it's going to look so fucking bomb at the end. And once again, to keep this tutorial from being about an hour and 20 minutes, I'm just going to show you the back right section, just like how I did for the, the first part. I'm just showing you how I'm applying the bleach to her roots and just going over anything that I feel is too dark. Since she did have dark brown hair and brown naturally on her hair, I wanted to make sure that I just reapplied over anything that looked like it wasn't changing as fast as I wanted to. Making sure to rub my fingers with the gloves over it a few times back and forth just to add a little bit of heat so it can process a little bit faster. And I'm going to do this for this section and we will be right back guys. Alrighty, so now that that's done, I'm just going over the whole perimeter of her head, making sure that I didn't miss any baby hairs because she has a ton of baby hairs everywhere. So I'm just going to perimeter, I'm going to roll it up and put a shower cap on it. And here you go. So this is what it should look like once you're done applying all the bleach. And we're going to rinse her out and come right back and start applying her red color. Now for this red, I used three different colors, guys. So everybody on my IG was asking me, what color is it? It's not one color. The brand is Rust, but I mix Merlot with red and I mixed a tiny bit of violet in with this. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, whenever I do color, I always mix 
more than one color just because I like the fact that, you know, different formulas end up with different colors and technically nobody could come up with this exact color only because the ratios might be a little bit off, but it's not hard. So I like to make my own like sort of kind of custom colors just so when somebody says, what is that? It's like, I made it so you gotta come to me. <laughs> and it's my signature, you know, I specialize in color, natural hair, presses, a little bit of everything. So I just want to, you know, make everything unique to my own style. So I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing the pattern here. I'm just going out and outline her perimeter with the red color. This is a direct pigment, which means that you do not have to mix it and wait for it to change. The colors are already vibrant. They're already ready to apply. So once you bleach it, this is the easiest part to me. And I'm just going over her perimeter, like I said, making sure that I do the same exact thing, taking small sections, applying on the bottom at the root, taking it all the way down the hair shaft, applying it on the bottom of the hair, and making sure that I run my fingers through it just to make sure that the hair color gets applied all throughout her hair. So now I'm finished about 75% of her hair, guys, and I just wanted to show you guys that I'm just going to outline the perimeter of the front of her hair, and I'm going to do this and make sure that I get it nice and saturated. Yet again, I'm going to split it up, start at the root, work my way to the ends of the hair, and run my fingers up and down. And after this, you will see that the hair color looks extremely dark once I wash it and rinse it out. This is not the actual hair color. A lot of people get really frustrated and discouraged when they see that the hair color looks completely different. Hair color does change when it's wet. It looks like it's burgundy now, but as I blow it out, you're going to see that vibrant red color start to peek through. And since my client's hair is pretty straight, I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and just detangling her hair, making sure there's no tangles in her hair, and I'm just going to go in with my handy-dandy, old faithful, rust speed freak blow dryer and a paddle brush. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. And I'm just going to go ahead and paddle brush each section, making sure to take my time, and making sure that her hair is completely dry. And as you can see, it's starting to dry. You can see that bright red color start to come through. And we are finally all done, guys. Look at how bomb this red looks. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love when people let me just freestyle and do whatever I want. So her hair is already pressed. It took me maybe 10 minutes to press her hair out. And I told her, like, look, your ends are looking a little crazy, so can I please trim your hair? She was pretty open. She was like, go ahead. I want it to look nice. So here I'm just showing you guys me trimming her hair. I'm not going to show the whole entire trim. So I did go in and make sure I got every little piece. But... I did trim her hair, and I made sure it was nice and even, and this is the end result. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for supporting me and liking and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.